Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, the 17th of July 2018. Or should we say Tuesday, the 17th of July 2018? Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Marketplace from leading providers at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see exactly where these uh, markets are basically heading. Uh, let's see how uh, these markets are trading then. Okay, in terms of uh, the current uh, market at present in terms of Europe uh, this morning, we've certainly obviously opened lower on the back of uh, Netflix certainly missing uh, its uh, earnings estimates and therefore the stock was down almost 10%, I think, at one specific time. I think it was even uh, exceeded 14%. So that certainly stopped the uh, the rally in the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is down sub 7300 now, so NASDAQ certainly under pressure. So again, that certainly is dragging. Now, in terms of Asian markets overnight, uh, the uh, Chinese markets were down again, so therefore risk off okay uh, china china certainly lower we have brexit chaos in the uk so again that uncertainty there uh, miss uh, may certainly is hanging uh, onto power uh, by the thread of a needle uh, shall we say or the thread uh, by its uh, needle thread so again it's um, it certainly is uh, problematic for her okay uh, in terms of netflix again like i said certainly creating risk off Oil prices continue to fall. Copper certainly under pressure as well ever since Chinese data came out weaker. UK car sales certainly weaker as well. Mr. Carney is talking at the moment. And again, he certainly is adding fuel to the fire in terms of Brexit chaos. Uh, but BOE Carney continues to skirt around Brexit issues, says that he's premature for the central bank to make judgments on the government's white paper. Uh, BOE Carney states no, no deal Brexit will be a material event for rates consideration. So in, in other words, he basically says it's negative. Uh, let's have a look here. No deal Brexit scenario will be material scenario for considering rates. Okay, expects big economic consequences in the event of a no deal Brexit scenario. So these are all factors certainly that are coming into play as well. <clears throat> Whether you're going to interpret that as bullish or bearish is another question altogether. Okay, so that's basically where we are in terms of the uh, status quo. Uh, now, US markets, again, let's see exactly how they trade again. Given the fact that the S&P and the Dow certainly are into resistance now as well, it certainly will be uh, interesting to see which way your, your European markets go. Now, European equities do have the uh, bullish news surrounding a potential trade deal with Japan. That certainly is supporting your European equities. I'm currently long on the European equities, looking for a potential gap fill to close up 3470 and even a retest of 3464. Let's see if that transpires. Okay, so that's basically where we are. Let's look at the technical picture now, DAX 30. Again, holding support, that's 13,520 level, or 12,500, 12,500, 12,600, we're certainly oscillating between those two zones. Uh, again, you've got gap fill above at 12,600, then you've got gap fill at 12,840. Let's see if we can close that gap. That certainly remains on the radar. Now, the daily chart, German DAX still holding that previous gap fill. Okay, let's see if we can push higher to that next gap fill at 12,830. And uh, 13,000. In terms of the French CAC, let's just quickly go into that for you as well. We've had that impressive bounce, as you can see. We've had the bounce on to 5385, pushed up to 5415. Can we push even higher back up to 5422? That'd be interesting to observe. In terms of the 60 minute chart on the French CAC, again, you can see that bottoming tail there. Okay, certainly bouncing that FIB 61%. Now, the question is, can we hit that 5430 and potentially go higher to close the gap at 5450 and then 5? 500 so that certainly is the uh, focus from my perspective the uh, japanese trade deal uh, okay certainly is bully a bullish scenario in terms of the FTSE, oh, we've held up protect yesterday's pivot lower 7565 uh, given the uncertainty regarding may and her potential uh, defeat there and uh, certainly is a, uh, a no confidence vote she's attempting to bring recess earlier in order to prevent that so again it's a lot of uncertainty regarding that surrounding that so each time she attempts to survive a uh, very strange one. Okay, either way, that's saying that's a status quo. Uh, if the FTSE does bounce from here again, we're just oscillating between the 7720 zone and then obviously the 7580 zone. So watch out for those two uh, uh, potential pivot levels. Daily chart, really, again, like I said, it's just trading sideways. Uh, what can you make out of it? I mean, I can't really even draw a diagonal trend line. Unfortunately, that's not sufficient. It's just trading sideways at present. Okay, I think that's a good summation then, really, of European equities. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Take, certainly take advantage of that bonus. And visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.